Gary, what were your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think the first thing is a couple of, <clears throat> a couple of things that probably played a factor today in some ways. Obviously, we had the midweek game. Norwich didn't. I think Norwich are on a, <clears throat> on a really good upturn of form um, with with David coming in as manager. I think they've been, um, you know, they've been they've had impressive form recently. I think they're a really good side. You know, if you look at it, um, they're a good side. They moved the ball well. I think they're probably up there with Burnley in terms of having both sides to the game on their day. I thought they were a really good side. Um, but I actually thought we it was pretty pretty similar, I think, at times to, you know, the Sheffield United game, you know, that sort of home game where people probably don't expect us um, to go and get a result. And um, I thought the first 30 minutes, I thought were excellent. I thought we pressed Norwich really well. <clears throat> I thought we caused a, a very technical team, a lot of problems um, with the way that, that we won the ball back. Um, scored a very good goal in Bradders. Great, great. Great bit of play shows shows he's oozing confidence at the moment in those goal scoring positions. It's a lovely, lovely finish, um, and one nil up. Of course, that's a position that you know we've been quite comfortable in um, for a long time. But I, but I think the hard bit is when you're playing against a really good side. Um, they they I think we had a chance with Berkey just after that, not long after that, where he just flashes one just wide of the post, um, and at that point to be one nil or two nil. You know, I thought the performance was was excellent. And we can see the really poor goal. There's a couple of little bits of fortune that have gone against us today, and sometimes that happens in games. And, and um, you know, I think you, it leads you to being disappointed because it doesn't necessarily reflect the performance completely. You know, it's a, it's a quick, or it's a corner where they run us away and, and they get the shot in. But actually, the shot doesn't look like it's going to cause us a massive problem. I think Zian's just in front of Longy, and I think if if Zian clears it, no problem. If Zian leaves it long, he saves it, no problem. But what you don't want is it just to flick off Zian's foot and he almost just sliced it over the top. Of, it looked like he's just sliced it over the top of Longy. Um, I'd have to watch it again, but it looked like he just got a touch. Um, and then we had probably had a 15, 20-minute spell where Norwich started to use that confidence, started to you know, pin us back in with, with their possession. And we had a tough probably 15 minutes before half-time. And second half, I thought we came out really competitive again. And... And uh, what you don't want to do is, is give a goal away um, at that moment, at that point. And, and um, again, it's a quick corner. Uh, we just run off us where we have a chance really just to, is literally just got to stay with a player and not let him not let him get in. So run off us, put the ball in the box and it hits Bradders on the shin and goes in. Um, so again, to be 2-1 down at that point, I think it's hugely, hugely disappointing. Because you know, I thought we'd worked incredibly hard to, to, uh, to, to be in the game. Yeah, I think I think that's the one thing that our team have showed. I think, uh, like I said, you know, we've got <clears throat> we lost Shax this morning to to another illness. So again, it just stretches that squad once more. I think it's I can't remember the last time I've had the opportunity to pick the same team twice. Um, we've had to constantly just keep tweaking things and and adjusting things. I think you know the third look. The third goal is a great bit of quality. He spins. I can talk about you know we should drop in and block that space, but but um, it's a great bit of quality. It's a bit of Premier League quality. Uh, and you're three one down in a game where you feel like it's it's been fairly even. Um, we get a goal back and and. You know the fans stayed behind us. The fans turned up in great numbers. I think the fans kept kept urging us forward. I think we tried everything we could to get in the, back in the game. And the one thing I'd say about this group is, you know, their their determination, their character, their energy, their effort just to try to get an equaliser at the end. You know, and we, like you say, we've had a, a goal line clearance. I think if that's the other way around, it probably flips up onto someone's shin and goes in. But it wasn't to be. Hanley, a bit of experience, just drops in at the right time. We've had a couple of other good moments. I think we've had 20 shots to Norwich's eight or nine, I think. So I think it clearly shows we've created enough opportunities. But, um, you know, Norwich have ended up with those goals against the moments that we needed to defend better. Yeah, I think it's kind of like a, a bit less in a way that when you're after going pushing for the playoffs and playing against a team Premier League quality, that you can perform really well, but then it comes down to other moments of individual errors and misfortune. Yeah, I think every I think every championship game is the same. I think we 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 were fifth before the start of today's game for for a reason because we've been very very consistent and we've done a lot of things well for a long period of time. Um, what you can't afford to do is is give poor goals away. Um, you know, look, Norwich have 
worked for routines well, but you know, I don't think it's not a well worked routine that someone then sticks it in the top corner. It's a well worked routine that gets a chance, but we have to then deal with the next little stage of it. And and that was unlike us today, really. So so to concede two goals like that against a team like Norwich, if they play through the thirds and out passes and end up creating a chance, I can hold my hands up and say they're a really good side. But um, to to concede two goals in that way, I think was a, was a big disappointment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they stayed behind us. Um, I think they also gave a, um, you know, gave a, a, a round of applause. And I think it was the eighth minute for, for the young girl and the family that, that, that lost us. So I think again shows a, another side to the game and another side to our fans that you know they'll they'll support and help anyone that needs it. You know, so um, so yeah, it's sad to hear. My dad a four, so that's certainly not what you want to hear. But but I thought you know if nothing else, it was a it was a lovely tribute for for a minute. Um, you know, for them. Do you feel like there's been a bit of a hangover really from that losing game on Tuesday seeing as you have to face the top two, you go and work to Stoke and then you put a lot into that game on Tuesday to then have to come straight into this? I, can't, I don't mean you can say it's a hangover because we've lost the game, but if we've gone one nil up, we've started well, we've had 30 minutes, so I think at 30 minutes, I don't think anyone would have said that. I think it was, it was disappointing to be pegged back late on, but I think we spoke about it before, that we probably didn't really deserve our two goals. You can have an argument today to say that maybe Norwich didn't really deserve to be free one up, but they're a good side, a good quality side. I think it just shows the championship. You know, if we spoke before the Sheffield United game, Burnley, you know, Stoke away, um, Luton away, Norwich at home is a tough, tough five games. Um, you know, and to, to win two of them and draw two of them to come into this fifth game and then go toe to toe with a very good side who've had a week's um, a week's rest, by the way. You know, again, it makes a big difference at this level. Um, yeah, and we've just come come up against it today. So, so I don't think there's any disgrace. Um, I think it's nice that we've got a week with no game in some ways because we've got a lot of players that given everything. And you know, that's all you can ask sometimes of the players. You know, it's disappointing with the goals we conceded today, but did we give everything we had to try and get a result? I think we did, and, and um, you know, just just came up a bit short. Yeah, you've mentioned it a few times in terms of again today with Bradford. The end of the goals, the end of the assist, and I guess as well, if you're going to kind of maintain that across the next few games, if you want the other players kind of reaching the similar level in order to stick in around the top two. Yeah, I think there's, you know, there's, there's clearly more to the game than just goal scoring. So, um, you know, I think you, you, I think what the players are doing, again, you know, they're working incredibly hard to get into those, um, to get the team into those positions to score, and, and you know, the likes of Bradders and Zian, you know. Uh, uh, are intelligent enough to know you need your teammates to, to work hard and defend and get you into those positions. But to have two players on 12 goals, I think it is, um, on 12 or 13? 13. 13. To have two players on 13 goals each uh, is very unusual for, for us in the Championship. You know, what you then need is you need a couple on seven and eight and, um, you know, push into those levels. And at the moment, we haven't, we haven't got that. And, and you know, that's, that's just something we'll always try to improve. We'll keep going. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it doesn't always. You know, it doesn't like after 30 minutes. I'm sure people would have said, "Well, it didn't look like a massive advantage." I don't think necessarily. I think what it does is it allows you to maintain those energy <coughs> levels over a, over the period of 90 odd minutes. Whereas, you know, we know that because players have gone Tuesday night at top level without the ball you know if you have to think about the last two games in Stoke and, and Luton we haven't had loads of the ball and we've had to do a lot of work off the ball um, so I think it just means you've got to keep making changes to the team to maintain the energy whereas um, you know sometimes when you've had that free week people like Bradders feel fresh again you know ZM feels fresh again rather than George Honeyman feels fresh again you know rather than them players having to go again three days later it's a championship. Everyone has to do it. You know, it's not. That's not any. No, Norwich could well have beat us comfortably today with both playing midweek. I'm not suggesting that at all. But it just means you're on the edge, and, and being on the edge means that you know players. It's hard to feel fresh going into the game. So yeah, it'd be nice to try and get a little bit of that back. That's all. Just finally, Gary. Just a couple of quick 
questions. Um, the FIFA president was here today. He could have gone to Chelsea, he could have gone to Arsenal. He's, he's elected to come here, so that must be great for the club. And also today he was at a conference where he mentioned about he would like to see more games go to 100 minutes like they did at the World Cup to cut out time wasting. So just first of all, your view on him coming here today and, and on that, that, that topic. Well, I'll flip it if that's okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have loved to have seen 100 minutes today. Um, <laughs> rather than 90, I thought Tim Krull was going to take 100 minutes to take a kick off late on. Um, but yeah, look, I, I mean, I, I don't know really. I think I think it should be whatever, my personal opinion, it should be whatever added time should be added on. Um, I think it'd be, you've got to be, I think sometimes in the World Cup games, people were wasting time and they're adding the time on, but it doesn't take into account that you're disrupting the game at crucial parts. And sometimes that's, you'd prefer to keep the flow of the game going if, you, if you're losing. Um, yeah, the fact that he's here, I don't know, I don't know the reason. Um, hopefully he's heard about the, the atmosphere and hopefully he's heard that you know, there's going to be a brilliant atmosphere today with, with two Champions te teams going at it and maybe he wanted a game that wasn't a Premier League um, high-flying game with 60,000 fans there. So if that's the case, uh, I'm sure he goes away and, and uh, has enjoyed his experience, hopefully. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys.